Welcome back to CTV News. On the shortest day of the year this Tuesday, we will be treated to a very rare event. For the first time in over 450 years, a total lunar eclipse will take place on the winter solstice. Joining us now via broadband from Montreal with more on the upcoming celestial display is astronomer Andrew Fazekas. Thanks very much for joining us. My pleasure. All right, first of all, what is a lunar eclipse? Well, what a lunar eclipse, it's really a, a disappearing act of the moon that's happening. Uh, the moon is going to be entering the shadow of the earth. So basically what you have is a lineup of the moon, the earth, and the sun, all in an exact alignment. And uh, the last time that in North America we saw uh, a lunar eclipse was uh, about three years ago. So it doesn't happen that often when you get a chance. So hopefully we get clear skies tomorrow. Who will be lucky enough to see it? Who will have the best vantage point? We're here right across Canada. We're so lucky to really be perfectly positioned because North America is going to have a front row seat because it's happening right in the middle of the night when the moon is going to be at its highest in the sky. The, the, the skies will be in the darkest. So it's going to be, per we are all perfectly positioned here in our country. How long does it take? Well, it's a, it's a five hour process, the whole thing. It'll start at 1.33 uh, a.m. Eastern Time. That's when you'll see the first uh, hint of the shadow of the Earth hitting the moon. And then you'll see this curved shadow slowly creep across the surface of the moon until about um, uh, 2.41 a.m. is when the, the, the total eclipse starts. And that's when the, uh, the moon enters the deepest part of the Earth's shadow and it actually turns uh, a, a, a cool color of orange or reddish in, in, in tone. So we did see, or there was a lunar eclipse a couple of years ago, but for it to happen during a winter solstice, that is rare. That indeed is a very rare event. In fact, that last time that a winter solstice coincided with a total lunar eclipse was 372 years ago in 1638 A.D., and so it's a really rare event to have the two coincide uh, like this. Andrew, are there any super superstitions surrounding this? You know, there's a lot of cultures that uh, uh, really had a lot of superstition related to eclipses. Most of them were actually quite bad omens that were associated with uh, like a demon eating the moon, especially since the moon turns a reddish, orangish color. Uh, and so that was quite frightening to a lot of ancient cultures. But of course, today we just enjoy this amazing celestial disappearing act. And unlike a solar eclipse, this can't uh, do any damage to your eyes, I would imagine. No, it's perfectly safe. It's very user friendly, this event. And uh, the only thing is you want to stay warm. You want to stay warm at this event because it's in the middle of the night here in winter. It's very cold. So, but it's so convenient because you can even watch it from your bedroom window looking uh, high up in the evening sky. And if there's one time that you want to get up and set your alarm clock, it's probably 3 a.m. Eastern time, so that would be midnight Pacific. That's when the moon will turn its darkest red color. And that would be on Tuesday? That's right, so uh, 3 a.m. Tuesday uh, uh, morning Eastern time, so oh. that would be equivalent to oh. midnight we don't in want, Pacific. We don't want people starting at 3 a.m. tonight and, and assuming it's going to happen. They'll have quite a weight on their hands. <laughs> All right, That's Andrew, right. great to talk to you as always. Thanks a lot for this. Clear skies. Good stuff.